All right, so in this problem, we want to write the following expression as a polynomial. That means that we cannot have these exponents outside of our parentheses, and it has to be on the variables themselves. So in order to simplify this or expand, we are going to write this in its full version. So 3 minus x squared is also written as 3 minus x times 3 minus x. And the rest of our expression looks like this. 3x plus 2 and 2x minus 2. And both of these are being multiplied by one another. Now, when we have two parentheses that are being multiplied by one another, we are going to FOIL the terms inside of them. And that means that we are going to take the first term of our first parentheses and multiply by the two terms of our second parentheses. So we have 3 times 3, which gives us 9, and 3 times negative x, which gives us negative 3x. And now we're going to take our second term of our first parentheses and again multiply by the two terms of our second parentheses. So it's going to look like this. We have negative x times 3, so that gives us a negative 3x, and negative x times negative x, which gives us a positive x squared. So now that we foiled our first two parentheses, we have another two parentheses to foil, and we're going to do it the same way. We're going to take our first, the first term of, of our first parentheses and multiply it by the two terms of our second parentheses. So we have 3x times 2x, which gives us a 6x squared. And we have 3x times negative 2, which gives us a negative 6x. And so now we're going to take our second term of our first parentheses and multiply by the two terms of our second parentheses. So we have a positive 2 times a positive 2x, so that gives us a positive 4x, and 2 times negative 2, which gives us a negative 4. All right, so now comes time to simplify. We're going to combine all of our like terms, and we're going to list our terms with the highest exponent first. So our highest exponent is x squared. So we have a positive x squared and a 6x squared, and when we combine them, we are left with 7x squared. Now if you take a look at your answers, that means that we can already cancel out answer A and answer C because the first term of 7x squared does not exist in them. Alright, now let's go to our next highest exponent, which is x to the power of 1. And so we have here negative 3x, negative 3x, which gives us a negative 6x. And we have a ne another negative 6x, which leaves us with a negative 12x plus 4x, so we have, let's write this out, here we have negative 6x, and here we have a negative 6x plus 4x. So negative 6 and negative 6 give us a negative 12x plus 4x, and we are left with a negative 8x. So that's going to be the next term written in our polynomial. So we have so far 7x squared minus 8x, and now we are going to link the next terms. And we have here a positive 9 and a negative 4. And so when we combine them, we have a positive 5. So this is our simplified version of the polynomial. And if we take a look at our answers, this the answer that represents our answer is answer D. Therefore, D will be our final answer for this problem.